the latest now on a story we first broke yesterday. The discovery of five family members found dead northeast of Houston, one of them just 15 months old and a little girl. Today, friends who were close to the family are reacting to the gruesome discovery. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon spoke with them a short time ago. She's joining us live now in Patton Village where the family had close ties, we understand. Roseanne? That's right. Patton Village is actually more than 40 miles away from where that incident happened. But this city is one that this family called home for decades. In fact, that grandfather had built the city's pavilion here and their loved ones here say they will be missed. The city cannot comprehend the senseless murders. In Polk County, a tragic shooting leaves five family members dead. Grandparents 74-year-old Carlos Eugene Delaney and his wife 72-year-old Linda Delaney. Their granddaughter 27-year-old Ashley Delaney, her husband 54-year-old Randy Horn and their 15-month-old baby Randley. A tragedy that's broken hearts more than 40 miles away in Patton Village and Splendora. The human side is heartbreak. I mean, this has affected a lot of people I work with and know daily. The Delaney family was well loved. Living on this small street for most of their lives, grandparents Linda and Eugene made Patton Village their home for more than 40 years, raising their three children and grandchildren here, including Ashley. All of them went to Splendora ISD schools. The family helped participate uh, quite a bit uh, civically and that they, they tried to help their community and, and be a better community. Linda was a respected longtime city councilwoman, former mayor and local beauty shop owner who was known to want what's best for her family and the city. She was a very strong will. Matter of fact, uh, she didn't mince words. Her husband owned a construction business building the city hall pavilion, leaving their mark. This small town is now heartbroken. I am sure their legacy will live on for years. They will be remembered how they live their life, not in the brutality of their death. Now, Polk County Sheriff's deputies tell me they are waiting on autopsy results to help them figure out exactly what happened that day. Those results are expected to come by the week's end. Reporting live from Patton Village, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.